Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Funko Pop Stars. Today we have an episode of Funko Pop Investments for January January 20th coming at you. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on when I drop one of my latest videos like today. And be sure to leave a comment, hit that like button. We are the best Funko Pop channel on YouTube. You don't want to miss out on all the great stuff we got coming here soon. But anyways, let's get right into this episode. We have a lot of Destiny Pops on here. We got Lord of the Rings, football, The Hobbit. It's great stuff on here. So here are just an example of ones that I'm not picking this one up particularly right now but some Destiny Pops are doing really well right now. And then there's some other ones that are cheaper right now. Granted, this is one of the better ones. It is a glow in the dark chase. Destiny's not slowing down anytime soon. And I highly recommend picking up some of the cheaper ones, which we're about to go over here in a second. But this is definitely one of my favorites. It is the uh, Crochet Pop from Destiny released in 2017. Right now it's trending at 90 and it's not a bad pickup um, for destiny collectors not as an investment right now but um, like some of these other ones and we got osiris this one was released in 2018 it's the gold osiris i was ex extremely excited when the edition came out for destiny i foresee these pops all doing well here in the future but let's talk about some of the cheaper ones right now that i am picking up like those other two are just for destiny fans these are the ones that I am highly recommending you pick up. And here's just the common Croatia, um, uh, not Croatia, Croatia pop from Target, which was released in 2017. The reason why I have this one uh, picking up is because usually the common one sits way below the Chase version of it, but the fact that the common one's doing well right now, it's just whenever that Chase continues to shoot up in value, which it will, because that's like I said, Destiny's not going anywhere. This is one I would like I would have in my collection and I think it's definitely a great pickup and a lot of people that play Destiny remember this character and then we have the sweeper bot going for $31 doesn't play a huge role in the game but I'm trying to complete out my Destiny collection right now this one was released in 2018 as a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive so you can get the actual Comic-Con sticker one for $31 and I don't know why I think it should be worth more in my opinion but picking up this one for my collection great great investments right now um, like I said I don't have the actual release date of the new Destiny game but I know they're working on it they're, they're gonna release another one um, here is Etheon released in 2017 GameStop exclusive going for $29 another great character for the Destiny line but then my favorite one and the one that I have number one on my list and it's so cheap right now recent 2018 side six golden gun games up exclusive going for $22 there's actually like three or four more destiny ones that are pretty cheap right now that I mean it's just that was six of them and so I didn't want to fill this whole episode up with destiny um, and this is the last one on here but man so cheap right now i think this would be worth the in the 40 50 dollar range and definitely don't sleep on any of these so next i want to talk about what how many nfl pops i have two no three nfl funko pops that i want to talk about right now if you know anything about football or if you don't know anything about football let me tell you why these are on here today and why these are great pickups right now so this may be kind of a gamble i don't think so but i believe um, Drew Brees is going to retire after this year. He's a Hall of Famer. He's won a Super Bowl. Um, let me talk. Let me tell you about this pop a little bit, though. This was released in 2014 as the first wave of the football pop, and I think it's extremely cheap right now for this pop. A lot of Saints fans are going to want this pop. I personally want all of these just because he's a legendary player, in my opinion. Um, but he lost the reason why I'm saying pick these up now. He lost in um, the playoffs just this past Sunday, and so um, he's going to retire. And that's why I think these pops are going to be worth something. The gamble is if he doesn't retire and plays another year, then you're just going to have to hold on to them. But I don't think he's coming back after his performance. Here's another one of my favorites. He's in the 
black and gold uh, pants. Love these. Love this one. Thirty-four dollars. But the cheapest one on here uh, for the Drew Brees is the championship one, which was released in 2019. Um, Super Bowl champion Drew Brees, going for 11 bucks. And like I said, these are all ones that Saints fans would love to have. I mean, I, I need all of these in my collection personally because I love football. But uh, I, be, be on the lookout for when they release the Patrick Mahomes Super Bowl one. But as of right now, um, pick these up, especially this one. I think you could get double for this. And when he retires, I think double, even triple, which I think is, is a huge, huge game. A lot of people comment on my videos a lot. You know, oh, you should invest in stocks and blah, 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 blah. No, like this, this channel isn't about stocks. It's about Funko Pops. So if you like collecting Funko Pops and you have some money, then these are pops I'm picking up and making money on. I've never lost um, my collections worth way more than what, um, what I've ever paid for any of my pops. So, uh, I had the Valentine's day Funko pops on my, um, last Funko fair video for yesterday, but I just really want to reemphasize this. I kind of was like, Hey, these are the three I'm picking up, blah, 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 blah. But the reason why I have them on my pop investment videos is it, the, the number one that I would pick up is the Funko Shop exclusive that's not released yet, but it's the R2D2 Pink um, Valentine's Day edition. And the reason why I have all of these on my list today is because, or, or some of them on my list, is because I don't know if they're ever gonna make any more of these. I mean, they might, they could like make these every year or, or so often. I just think these are fantastic as, as Valentine's Day gets, especially if you have a girlfriend or a wife that loves Star Wars or is a fan of them, like my wife, I got her the Chewbacca. These would make great gifts. Um, Darth Vader, the boxes are just awesome. You could use these as breast cancer awareness um, or just to tell somebody that you love them. Um, you really, I mean, it's kind of a niche because you really had to have somebody, well, not really. You could either have somebody that likes Funko Pops or just like Star Wars. And they probably don't even know these exist and you would be ahead if you gave this to like your significant other or whatever but these things could get expensive guys like once these all sell out there are some places that are selling out on some of these and if it doesn't restock you're going to regret not picking up these my favorite out of all of them is Darth Vader and Chewbacca and RGD2 those are my three favorite you can I don't think you can go wrong picking up any of these for future use future Valentine's Day gifts uh, I think these all look great and pick them up as far as for gifts and 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 so you don't have to spend money in the future. Here is uh, one of my favorite ser or movies all time, top ten on my list. Just me personally, it is the Lord of the Rings, Tree Beard, and this one was released in 2018. If you've never seen Lord of the Rings, um, you you need to go check it out. This one's going for 41 dollars. I just think that Lord of the Rings is just a classical movie that, a classic movie that will never fade away. It's kind of like Star Wars, not as big as Star Wars, but I think it could could be there someday. And I think these pops, especially the OG ones, are worth picking up. Then we have Tyrell from The Hobbit, uh, released in 2014, going for $40. Fantastic character. Uh, another series if you haven't seen The Hobbit, um, another movie series if you haven't seen it, definitely go check that out. Um, I think these are relatively cheap. And then Gandalf right now, uh, just a common one. The reason why I'm saying pick these up because in my opinion, personally, should be worth a hundred bucks. There are some common ones right now that are going for a hundred bucks. So pick your poison with some of these because um, there are a bunch of them that are under 40 that are OG 2014. That's what I would look for. You need to be looking for the 2014 ones um, that are 30, 40 dollar dollar range that uh, are worth picking up because I'm about to complete my collection. So, and I'm probably never getting rid of them. So that's what you're going to run into here in the future is that people are going to hold on to, to some of these pops and never get rid of them. And they're not going to make any more of them. But anyways, that concludes this episode of Funko Pop Investments for January 20th. 2021. If you guys enjoy Funko Pop investment videos, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel and you want to be part of some something great, be sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications and leave a comment down below. Share this video with your friends. As always, guys, bake by bake, collect all the pops. I will see you tonight 
if we got some great Funko Fair stuff coming out. But as always, guys, big, bad, big, collect all the pops. Peace. I am out. See you next time.